committee. So we have, we have had a monthly meeting every month since then. That's six years of me month meetings. Okay, where we started, the first thing was to put up the, the colors. The colors is the American flag, for those who don't know. The flagpole and flag were donated by VFW and Charlie. But before we, had, before we needed the flags, we needed a home for this great memorial. We, the committee, but the Sparrowish Fire Commission asked for a spot out here in this old field. Permission granted. And the digging started. One with digging started. Mr. Rob Sherman stepped up the plate, <coughs> hit his buddy Tim, did all the digging and backfilling. Dug out the topsoil, refilled the center <coughs> with compact stone, and the list just goes on. And he volunteered all this time. I was going to have Mr. Sherman stay up today, but last week he had an accident. He had a damn forklift roll on him. So anyway, Rob's job was we have uh, logos. There's a logo here, a black tile was supposed to be put on, the, on each pier and was supposed to be here today. Well, he was in, in a hospital harassing their nurses. <laughs> okay, enough about Rob. Next would be the footings. After the form of Portland, the Mason showed up for the foundation walls. Harry Muller, being retired Union Mason from Mason's Local 5 out of Newburgh, contacted Mike Clifford, his business agent, about all an uh, all-volunteer crew. And they showed up with eight or ten guys multiple times, laid all the block, laid all the brick, except for the last two piers. The last two piers were finished by Mark Mullen and Tommy Ken. They're also affiliated with Local 5. And we thank you guys. We thank all the Masons. Dix Concrete donated the foundation blocks. Frank Cimarelli donated all the sand we use. Scott Hanley.